Welcome guys, welcome to Mass Effect. Uh, this is for our first formal Let's Play on the channel. I know I had other things on the channel, whoop. Like uh, GTA San Andreas that I probably will go back to eventually, but this is caps off our first formal Let's Play on the channel. And with that, let's get started. Because I know Mass Effect, it's generally not that long of a game, but um, with all the amount of content you could possibly do in it, like all the side missions and stuff like that, but we'll get to that. A lot of the side missions are repetitive, but they have small lore in them, um, but the level design really isn't that great. So we're going to start Welcome a new character. Welcome to Alliance Military Database. Classified information requested. We got to press A for them classified documents. Establishing secure connection. I doubt it. Secure connection confirmed. John Shepard? Nah, we're gonna go with... We're gonna go with, uh, Adam Shepard. Why didn't hit the D? Alright. Hit the D. Please we're gonna log go with in Adam Shepard. And bonus talent. I wasn't expecting that. Lift is always fun Profile to shoot enemies while they're off the ground. Alright, and let's get into it. Identification confirmed. Mm, I don't really want to like die a lot, so I just want to be story heavy and just basically dialogue heavy. This is supposed to be a relaxing let's play, not a super insanity. Which I don't even think... Oh yeah, the, yeah it was only unlocked after you beat the game, but... We already did that, so I don't want to do any of that, I just want to do normal. Subtitles, yeah, basically all the standard stuff. Ooh, Mass Effecty. Well, what about Shepard? Earthborn, but no record of his family. Doesn't have one. He was raised on the streets, learned to look out for himself. He saw his whole unit die on a cruise. He could have some his serious whole unit. scars. Which wasn't Every that a dialogue choice to select Shepherd's my backgrounds? I think it was already pre-selected to sell some we want oh, protecting well. the galaxy? I don't think any of the other ones really matter. I think um, whatever backstory you did, there's like one mission that's, that's a part of that. Um, I think for the sole survivor, I think there's a guy in the Citadel that talks to you and just says, hey, I was in your unit or whatever. The other two are kind of the same way. It's just one NPC in the entire world that comments on it. Oh, to sum up all that lore, it's basically uh, we found some stuff on Mars. The stuff on Mars was advanced. It jump-started our technology ahead a couple our hundred years, and here range. we are in spaceships. Transmission sequence. We are connected. Calculating transit mass and destination. The relay is hot. Acquiring approach vector. All stations secure for transit. See my main man, Joker. Board is green. Approach run has begun. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. So Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. Whatever that means. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. 
You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. Fun fact. Nihilus's character and name is based on the Sith Lord from Knights of the Old Republic 2. If you look at his face paint, it's the same outline. I'm gonna say you're overreacting. You always expect the worst. Well, bad feelings are an occupational hazard. But we don't go anywhere unless there's a good reason, so... What are we doing here? Joker! Status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth system's engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Ethan Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet that me big in the of a ship, so I don't know what he expected. You get that, Commander? You made him mad. Great. You pissed the Captain off, and now I'm going to pay for it. <laughs> don't blame me. Yeah, the Captain's who? always in a bad mood. Only when he's talking to you, Joker. Oh, snap. Can I talk to Caden yet? You probably don't want to keep the captain waiting, Commander. No, I can't. Can I talk to Joker? The captain's waiting for you in the comm room, Commander. Okay, generic dialogue all around. Good, good. I'm telling you, I just saw him. He marched by like he was on a mission. He's a specter. They're always on a mission. Mm -hmm. And we're getting dragged right along with him. Relax, Presley. You're going to give yourself an ulcer. What's up, dude? Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? I heard you arguing. Sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest. Sorry, Commander. Just having a chat with Adams down at Engineering. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. But you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. What do you mean? You think the Alliance Brass is holding out on us? If all we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system, why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a specter, a Turian specter, on a shakedown run? It doesn't add up. Could it be that we're investigating something that nobody should know we are here? That's why we need the stealth ship? What do you know about the stealth systems? I just know it masks our location from scans and sensors, cutting edge technology. The Normandy's the only ship with this prototype drive. But why are we fully staffed? A skeleton crew would be cheaper, less chance of security leaks too. Plus there's Nihilus. It's pretty obvious this shakedown run is just a cover. I mean, clearly, dude. For what? Damned if I know, Commander. We're out here on false pretenses. I'm not a fan of being left in the dark. Captain? Do you have a problem with the Captain? No, sir. But I can't figure out what he's doing here. Captain Anderson is one of the most decorated special forces officers in the service. If he melted down all his medals, he could make a life-size statue of himself. You don't send a soldier like that on a do-nothing mission. He's treating this shakedown run too seriously. By the Something end of this trilogy, I'm gonna make his statue look like a you don't trust none. dwarf. I don't like Turians in general. It runs in my family. My grandfather fought in the first contact war. Lost a lot of friends when the Turians hit us. So we have an alien racist. That was 30 years ago. You can't blame Nihilus for that. No, I guess not. But it still makes me nervous to have a Spectre on board. Especially a Turian. Racist. We're an Alliance vessel, human military, but Nihilus doesn't answer to the Captain like the rest of us. Spectres operate outside the normal chain of command. So there's the FBI, but no one really stops them. <laughs> Nihilus looks like he's expecting some heavy action. Or it's the CIA. I don't know these things. What else can we ask him? Turian Spectre? I think I already looked at that. Uh, I'll look into it. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. Thanks, dude. Anybody else want to talk? I grew up on Eden Prime, Doc. It's not the kind of place Spectres visit. Uh oh. There's something Nihilus isn't telling us about this mission. <laughs> what do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. Oh, I you're gonna get hope some action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. 
Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. Relax, Jenkins. You need to calm down, Corporal. A good soldier stays cool, even under fire. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. Just another mission, dude. Do your job, follow my orders, and there won't be any problems. True. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself on a coos. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. Dude, don't play the hero. This mission isn't about personal glory, Corporal. We have a job to do. Don't do anything stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, sir. I'm not gonna screw this up. Thoughts on Nihilus? What can you tell me about Nihilus? Turians are generally well respected by the other species. Their fleet has more patrols protecting Citadel space than any other. They don't always get on well with us, though. Some people find them too rigid. Others still blame them for the first contact war. As for Nihilus, <laughs> I haven't like said more than two words. He usually at her only she's only talking. speaks to the captain. It's like totally focused. I hope we get a chance to see him in action. I heard Nihilus took down an entire enemy platoon all by himself. Spectres? What do you know about the Spectres? Only what I've heard. Spectre agents work directly for the Citadel Council. They usually work alone or in small groups. Spectres don't have any official power, though. Basically, they're a shadow organization with a mandate to preserve and protect galactic stability. So essentially, I have the license protect to kill. Protect it at any cost. Don't forget that part. Spectres operate above the law. There's no human Spectres? Why don't we have any of our own people in there? Spectres usually come from the Council races, like the Turians. Races. We've been trying to get a human accepted into their ranks for years now. So far, it hasn't happened. Hey, Commander, you'd make a good Spectre. <gasps> Always getting dropped into impossible situations, forced to survive unbeatable odds. Forced. Just like you on a coos. Spectres sound dangerous. How do you control agents with unlimited power? I suppose the Council could revoke the Spectre status of an agent who got out of hand. At that point, Citadel Security Services would take over. Those C-Sec grunts wouldn't stand a chance. The Spectres were 20 ordinary soldiers. The Spectres police themselves. An agent goes rogue, they send another agent to take him down. That's Spectre justice. The Corporal's confusing romantic legends with reality, Commander. Boy, Jenkins, I'm gonna be uh, very interested in your character development. That's How do you control agents with unlimited power? Oh, I already said that. I suppose the council could revoke the Spectre status Why can't I skip agent it? who got out of hand. Those C sec the Spectres police oh, themselves. Wait. And the corporals confuse oh, romantic legends with reality, Commander. Eden Prime? You're from Eden Prime, aren't you, Jenkins? <sighs> What's it like? It's very peaceful, Commander. They've been real careful with development, so you don't have any city noise or pollution. My parents lived on the outskirts of the colony. At night, I used to climb this big hill and stare across the fields back at the lights from the main settlement. Yes, yes. Gorgeous. But when I got older, I realized it was a little too calm and quiet for me. That's why I joined the Alliance. Even paradise gets boring after a while. The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Sounds like a perfect place to spend the remainder of your life at. There's this guy. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. The Captain, Captain Anderson. said he'd meet me here. He's on his way. I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. I wouldn't know. I've never been there. But you know of it. It's become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Is that a threat? Are you trying to scare me, Spectre? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shutdown run. No shit. I already figured that out. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. Why all the secrecy? There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. Prothean? I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. 
the mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is Big Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Why, did we tell Why didn't we keep the beacon for ourselves? You humans don't have the best reputation. Some species see you as selfish, too unpredictable, too independent, even dangerous. Sharing that beacon will improve relations with the Council. Plus, we need their scientific expertise. They know more about the Protheans than we do. True. The Beacon's not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. I will show. He's here to evaluate you. Kelly is. Since when do we answer to the Spectres? You're smart enough to know how things work, Commander. The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. So is Not this to get technology, or to get the first human specter? You showed a remarkable will to live, a particularly useful talent. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the specters. Put my name why would a Turian want a human in the specters? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy and to the Spectres. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. Sports, Captain? I assume this is good for the Alliance. Earth needs this, Shepard. We're counting on you. Oh, no pressure. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Protheans. What do you know about the Protheans? Just what they taught us in school. They were a technologically advanced species that ruled the galaxy 50,000 years ago. Then they vanished. Nobody really knows how or why, though I've heard plenty of theories. But everyone agrees, galactic civilization wouldn't exist without them. Their citadel is the very heart of galactic society. And without their mass relays, interstellar travel would be impossible. We all owe the Protheans a great debt. Mm, nothing really. All right, let's go. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Get down! traffic at all. Just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold the 38.5. Hmm. Status report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Foreshadowing Take again. us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. <laughs> this mission two. just got a lot more complicated. Indeed. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Hmm. Engaging stealth systems. Somebody was right, doing some serious do digging this. here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Yeah. Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. 
do it. You coming with us? Nah, B. I move faster on my own. I'm going on my own, my shotgun. Niles will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. You can us. us back, Captain. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck. We are approaching drop point two. Finally, we can get to the actual game part. I like how we're always in nice formation when we start. Can I move? Alright. Let's do it. I never understood what those floating things are. Who the hell knows? Let's shoot him. Commander, you're terrible. Man. Let's see what kind of guns we got. We're almost done with this part. Let's just keep going. Where the hell am I going here? Uh, do I have like I don't even have like a beacon or anything where to go? Do I talk to him? No. God, have I really not played this game in this long that I have like no idea where to go? I can swear you just go this way and turn the corner. What the hell? Unless it's up here. No. Oh, boy, am I. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. I just swear this game had a sprint feature. Oh. Ooh, he did. Ah, shit. They did him wrong. They did him so wrong. And how did he get that far ahead? Yeah, we're fine. Well. Oh, you think? Where the hell is he at? Oh, he's been... <laughs> I think I might have stepped on his face. Speaking of space. Rip right through his shields. You're at a chance. Well, he should have his shields up. Forget about him. <laughs> he deserves a bear. We'll see that he receives a proper service once the mission is complete. But I need you to stay focused. Aye, aye, sir. I gotta say, just leave him. Not that way, this way. There was like a special chain for this. Yeah, we got some burned out buildings here, Shepard. A lot of bodies. Oh boy. I'm gonna check it out. I'll I try to swear this game had side. a sprint feature. Mass Effect, uh, well, I'm gonna have bad facial issue. Ooh. I didn't, I forgot that the blood actually spears from them. You're good. I still think it's hilarious how this game has better facial animations than Mass Effect Andromeda. 
This game came out in 2007. <laughs> Usa or Usa. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one in charge here, sir? We're on a mission. I need a status report. Now. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Well, you should have fought harder. What happened to your unit? Where's the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the beacon, but we walked into an ambush. I don't think any of the others... I think I'm the only one left. What killed them? Any idea what kind of enemy we're facing? I think they're Geth. Uh-oh. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? Shits and giggles. They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. All right, let's go. We could use your help, Williams. Aye, aye, sir. It's time for payback. Mm, the Geth? What else do you know about the Geth? Just what I remember from history class back in school. They're synthetics, non-organic life forms with limited AI programming, created by the Quarians a few centuries ago. They were supposed to be a source of cheap labor, but ended up turning on the Quarians and drove them into exile. Well, after that, they just kind of disappeared behind the Perseus Veil. Nobody's really heard much from them since. All right, let's go. Move out. The rest of this stuff is kind of fluff. Nothing too interesting. Let's look at some containers. Upgrade kit. What do we got? Armor piercing round. Radioactive rounds. I'm gonna take all those. That guy got fucked up. Oof. Investigate the dig site. This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Our side or the gas? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. Any survivors? You think anyone got out of here alive? If they were lucky. Maybe hiding up in the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Alright guys, and with that... Um, we're gonna wrap up the first episode here. Alright, Nihilus, yes. I'll wait for you there. Thank you, Nihilus. Alright. I'm gonna wrap up the first episode here. In the next episode, we'll head up to that camp and see what's going on and uh, see where the beacon went. And hopefully, uh, Nihilus will be okay and we can join up with him and have many of the ventures together. But until then, we'll see you next time. See you later. Peace.